We've just been up in the hills with uh, your, your teammate in uh, Andrew Fleming, and uh, it was horrible. Yeah, it wasn't the best weather, was it? No. It uh, wasn't. Snowing, sleet, wind, rain, <laughs> everything, wasn't it? Bad. But um, obviously, great preparation. Uh, you come through that, you can come through anything, can't you? Yeah, I suppose we can. You've got to get the worst out of the way, and then. And again, I was saying to you, uh, you're 2 and 0 now, both at Robin Park, and uh, you've done it in a, 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 a little bit of a different way, a bit more old school. You are. Yeah. You're uh, an aggressive sort of, a bit <laughs> like uh, Ricky Atkins. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, do I like working the body and on my front foot all the time? Uh, I think in my last fight. Um, I think I've put it on him a bit more with him being a lot heavier than what I was, so mm. didn't want to get out muscled, so put it on him from the start and just went from there really. Yeah, well, yeah, I must admit, I'm very pleased. I remember listening to the commentator on it and uh, you impressed everyone there and you did in your first one, your debut, which was, uh, was yours Christian Lightning? Right? Yeah, it was October yeah. against Christian. MJ Hall, was it your second MJ fight? Hall, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I say, you know, I don't think you've dropped around yet in your two fights. No, didn't drop around, no. I didn't know much against MJ Hall either. Didn't know much about him, sorry. Um, we only finding out the night before who I was fighting, so... We think, we're not sure yet, we can't confirm it because it might change, but we think you've got uh, Yusuf Alamani, um, a very, very durable, tough man. Yeah. Uh, and can make, make life hard for you in there. Yeah, he can, yeah, he makes it difficult. Um, He's quite on the back foot a lot, isn't he? Um, he can do a bit of everything. He can fight. He can fight coming forward if he wants to. If he yeah. feels that you're not up to it, you know. I was saying to a few people, he, he can fight at levels. Yeah. You know, he can give, um, uh, you know, a novice uh, a really hard fight, or he can give someone who's about to challenge for a, a small belt or something, uh, you know, a good go as well. Yeah. Um, in fact, I've just uploaded. You watched it last night. I did. I watched that last night. Yeah, I think Michael it was his Gomez fight. He fought um, uh, Gomez. Michael Gomez. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think Gomez. It was his forty-third fight. Former British champion and everything. And I know he got stopped in the third yeah. round, which is only. The th I think he was the first man to stop him then, and only two men since in a hundred and thirty-three fights. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Right? Right? Yeah. Really yeah. impressive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Considering when you look at the people that he's been in there. Yeah, yeah. So, Some top uh, lads. It'd be nice to uh, have him on your resume. Yeah, uh, it was, yeah. Uh, like I say, you know, once you get past 10 fights, you're probably never going to get to fight. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's better off starting and meeting these like, sort of guys early on, isn't it? And you're in the same boat as um, Andrew. I was chatting to him before and he's talking about you've packed in work because you used to be a plasterer, didn't you? I did, yeah, I used to be plastering, but I was struggling making training and if I fit training around work. And, just thought, I'm going to give it a go, you only get one opportunity to mm -hmm. give it your all so far. I'll step, step aside from work and just train full time. Yeah. So I'm training two, three times a, two, three times a day now and feeling the benefits from it, feeling a lot fitter and stronger. You know something though, I, I used to be a, a, you know, a, a builder when I was boxing and I found that actually, it actually kept me fit. Yeah, you know, it does. Yeah. Plastering is not an easy game, is it? No, it's a very physical, active, demanding it? game, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Even though you feel like you might not, you might be missing out on a few sessions, actually you were just doing one nine hour session. Yeah. <laughs> you know, totally. Yeah, it's tough, yeah. So you probably didn't actually didn't see the benefits of, of your working until fight night. And yeah. then you find that you've actually you can perform a bit better than other people yeah. because you're used to pushing yourself to the edge. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. So um you hopefully twenty fourth of February. Yeah. Uh, all three of you from VIP are gonna be out there. Yeah we are. And yeah. Uh, hopefully all three of you get wins again. We will and, do. And uh, I'll be chatting to you and you'll be three and all. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Can I just give a quick mention to my sponsors? Of course you can, mate. Um, Not as many as you make, why is that? I've got smart back yeah. as well. <laughs> um, first of all, I was going to say... Hang on, let me just zoom this down here for you. Go on, kiddo. First of all, I should say thank you to Trevor Lloyd that offered investments. Um, without him, like, helping me throughout the camp and everything like that, none of it would be possible. Um, another one, Ken Sight, just recently come on board with Calder Bank Metals. Mm -hmm. Got JR's Plumbing Services. PG Labums and then I've got a few on the back. Go on, turn um, then. I think one's Briggs Equipment, one's Orange Groundwork and one Merd Bros Printers. He looks like a big sponsor, isn't that Adam Ridge? <laughs> and me. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, yeah, but without, without any of them, none of it would be possible to train full time and fight full time. So I really right, appreciate then. that. All right, then. no problem. Thanks a lot, Adam. No I'll see you on the 24th, like you say. Hopefully, it'll be 3 0, mate. Yeah, we will be, yeah. Take care, mate. Thanks. Bye. See you later. Thank you.